Hey everybody, today I'm going to give a quick tutorial on how to do RNG manipulation in Generation 3 Pokemon games. So this includes Pokemon Emerald, Ruby, Sapphire, Fire Red, and Leaf Green. I'm going to be doing it with Pokemon Emerald today, and I'll show you guys how to do it with Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. I'll mention when we get to the RNG reporter section, but um, it's pretty straightforward. and. Um, I believe that Emerald and Ruby and Sapphire are all pretty similar. So you're going to need a few programs. You're going to need VBARR, RNG Reporter, PK Hex. Um, you also need a Pokemon Emerald ROM, or at least that's what I'm going to be using. You, know, you can use any game you want. And then you need a few different Lua scripts. So you need Gen 3 Pokemon Stats Display and Tables and I will link these both in the description. And then you need a save file. So I named this one Birth Island because we're just going to do this on Deoxys for an example. Um, you can download them off the internet. I'll link where I got this one specifically and then where you can find other ones as well. But this works on a lot of different situations. Okay. So we'll start by opening VBARR. We have to change a couple settings here. So we're going to open a GBA ROM. We're going to open up Pokemon Emerald. I'm going to pause the game using Control P. So in Options, go down to Emulation. Make sure Real Time Clock is not checked. So this is what it looks like if it is checked. Just make sure it's unchecked. For the save type, we're going to do automatic. And then we're going to do flash 128k. I believe that is everything we need to do. So now we're going to go to uh, tools and then Lua scripting, new Lua script window. We're going to hit browse. We're going to go to the folder with the scripts, so make sure that the Gen 3 Pokemon stats display and the tables script are in the same folder. So we'll open up the stats display, we're going to hit run, it's going to pop up with a bunch of stuff here. I'm going to unpause the emulator. So once we go here, it'll say that the internal battery is uh, not working, so that's good. So now we see new game and option. So we're going to start by going to file, load game, import game shark snapshot. And then we're going to go to, I have mine under downloaded saves, Earth Island. We're going to hit open. It's going to ask you about importing it. It will erase any saved games and reset the emulator. We'll continue. So now it's going to load. Now you can see that the frame is a different color, and our save is loaded here. So now that we're in the game, we can see that there's a lot of information here. At the top left, these are the frames counting up, and then these are different stats. Uh, the first Pokemon in your party, the moveset, hidden power, a bunch of stuff. So what we're going to do first is we are going to go to RNG Reporter. So now that we're here in RNG Reporter, there are going to be a couple of things we need to pay attention to. So first, for the method, we're going to do method one. For the max results, it starts at 100,000 frames. And for now, just for demonstration, we'll keep it at that. But the higher the number you have here, the more frames it'll generate that could have better stats or whatever you're looking for starting frame is going to be one and the seed right now we have nothing here so for emerald with a dead battery you're going to want to have nothing in this section for ruby and sapphire with a dead battery you are going to want to put five capital a zero and that will uh, do the right thing for you when you're generating all the different frames so right here we have the id and the sid 
So to get these, there are a lot of different methods, but I'm just going to use PK hex for the demonstration. I'm not going to go into getting the secret ID, which is what SID stands for. So I'll move us over to PK hex. So now right here, what we're going to do is first go to options, settings, and for the game save, we are going to do Emerald for this demonstration. We have to export the battery file. So to do that, we are going to go back to desktop here. And we're going to do, uh, first we are going to unpause the game. We're going to go to the menu and we're going to save the game. Now I'm going to pause it again. I'm going to go to File, Save Game, Export Battery File. And now we are in the battery folder, which is in the um, just the main directory, wherever you have DBARR. We're going to replace the one that's there. It'll be the same name as your ROM. We're going to hit Save. And that should be enough. So now we will go back to PK Hex. And we're going to do file open. Uh, here, let me see if I can bring this up and go back to display capture. So I just hit file open. And now we go to battery and then Pokemon Emerald and hit open. So now we're going to go to save trainer info. We see that we have Emerald, which is the name that the safe has. We have our TID, and then we have our SID. So what we're going to do next is copy the TID. I'm going to go to my G reporter. We'll paste the TID into the ID section. And we're going to go back to PK hex. We're going to grab the SID. Then go back to RNG reporter and put it in there. Okay, cool. So now that we have that information and we are in RNG reporter, um, we are going to generate the frames and see what we can find. So I'm going to go for a shiny. Deoxys. So right here where it says shiny only, I'm going to click that and check it. And then I'm going to hit generate. So these are all of the frames up to 100,000 starting from one that will have a shiny Deoxys. So this is 21,610, 32,493, all the way up to 97,294. The reason they're so little is just because these are only shiny. So let's just go for the first one, which is frame 21,610. <clears throat> so we will go back to here. And we're going to unpause. And up here where it has the frames, we're at 3,300. And we're going for 21,610. So I'm going to go to Options, Speed, Set Speed. I'm going to go to Other. And I'm going to do 1,000%. You can adjust this however you want. Now we're going up pretty quick. Once we get to 15,000, just because it's a couple thousand before our goal, I'm going to create a save state so that we can jump back here if we need to. I'll make it easy. So we're at 10,000 now up here. I'm going to hit Control P and pause it right around 15. We go to File, Save Game, Slot 1. We're going to unpause it. I'm going to do another one at 19,000. Hit 19,000. Save Game, Slot 2. Now we're going to unpause, and we're going to get as close to 21,610 as we can. 20,000, 
so five, this is pretty good, 21,537. So now I'm gonna to go to speed, set speed, 100% normal speed. And now if you hit Control N, it'll bump us up a single frame at a time. So we are going for 21,610. So I'm gonna hold it down for a second. Now we're getting close, so 21,600. 21610. So here is where we have to actually hit the button on the frame. So for Deoxys, we have to hit A on this right here, and that will um, trigger the event to happen. For other Pokemon, you have to walk to the side or walk into an area or something like that. So no matter what, what you do is you hold down the button that you're going to hit. So for this example, we want to hit A. And in the emulator, hitting Z on the keyboard is what relates to A. So I'm going to hold down the Z key, and then I'm going to hit Control P, and that'll unpause the game and hit the Z key as soon as I unpause it. Okay, I'm going to do that. Now the event begins. Okay, so we did not get a shiny Deoxys, and that's completely normal. So what we have to do is actually capture this Deoxys. Just gonna use a Master Ball. So we captured it, we're not gonna give it a nickname. Now we're gonna hit, or go to the menu. Go to our Pokemon. I'm gonna switch Trico with Deoxys. So now, right here, I just paused it. We have Player One, Deoxys, HP, and then we have the stats. So we just care about the IVs right here. So I'm gonna jump back into RNG Reporter. And before I zoom in on it for you guys, I'm gonna show you this. So we have HP attack, defense, special attack, special defense, speed, and this is where you input the IVs. So we're going to do this. Uh, we're going to hit equals or equals equals. And then for HP, it is 25. For attack, it is 90. Or wait a second, uh, 18. For defense, it is 15. For special attack, it is, oh, let's see, it looks like they put speed above it right here, the green number. So for speed, let's just do that real quick. Speed is going to be nine. Special attack will be nine as well. And special defense is 39, or uh, sorry, 14. So now I'm going to jump back into our injury reporter, show you guys what it's looking like. There we go. So right here, I just put in the HP, uh, you know, attack, defense, special attack, special defense, speed. These are all the numbers right here that we just typed in. So now we're going to unclick shiny only. So unselect that. And we're going to hit generate. So now we have frame 22, 11, 15. So let me open up a note file, notepad file, and I'll show you guys this in a second. Okay, so the frame we were originally going for, I'll grab that in a second. So the actual frame, this is the frame that we hit, is 22, 115. So now, Change all these back to none. And only generate. So the frame that we were originally going for was 21,610. So that was our original goal. Original goal. So we hit, that was 505 off, I believe. But I always like to check my math just to make sure. So we'll go to calculator. 
and we we are going to take the uh, actual frame, which is twenty two one one five, and then take away twenty one six one zero, which was our original goal. That gives us five hundred and five frames. So we missed the original goal by five hundred and five frames. So what we're going to do now is take. Let's see. Where it's down. 505, or 505. So we're going to take 21,610. We're going to take away 505 frames. It gives us 21,105. So that is our new goal that we're going to try to hit. Let's go back here. So the new goal is 21,105. So now this is where the save states come in handy. We're going to go to, let's see, file, load game, slot 2, 19,072. So we're going to unpause that. And it's going slower because we're on 100% speed again. It won't save that. And if you're paused and you change back to the different save, it'll keep you paused, which is super useful. And we're going to let it run up to 21,000. In just a second here. That won't take too long, so I'm just going to let it go. All right, we're getting close, so... Oops. <laughs> Didn't have my finger on the right thing. So we're at 21.088. So now we are going to 21.105, right there. So... Hopefully, what will happen, and also when you load the other save state, it brings you back. So in this case, we never captured Deoxys, so this will work again. Um, just completely resets you to where you were before. So now that we're at 21,105, this should be the correct value to get the shiny Deoxys. So we're going to hold down Z, hit Control P. It's going to activate the event. There we go. Let's just turn off the script. Um, so there we go. That's shiny Deoxys. New bag. Master Ball. Cool. It's now we are not going to give it a nickname. I mean, you can if you want, but I'm just not going to for the demonstration. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save the game, the actual in-game game. Then we're going to hit File, Save Game, Export Battery File. I'm going to replace the one right here. We're going to hit Control p I'm just going to pause it like that. Now we're going to go back into PK Hex, and I'm going to hit File, Open. I won't show you guys this, but I'm just selecting that file. Here, let me get this display capture. So, File, Open, Pokemon Emerald, go back here. So now if we go to Party, see that number two slot is Deoxys, and it's the shiny one. If we go to OT. Um, trainer ID is the same as what we put in, 59408, and the secret ID is 27183, which is also what we put in. Everything matches up perfect. Um, yep, and what you can do if you want to, what I like to do is I hit view. Oh, it's not showing the little menu. If you right click on here, it gives you the option to view the Pokemon. And when you view it, it shows you everything on the side here, all this stuff. So what you can do is hit file. And, oh, that's not popping up either. Okay. File, and then there's an option to save the Pokemon. When you hit that, you can save it as a .pk3 file, which is um, just a way that you can import it into the system if you want to move it to other games or other save files or whatever. So, yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Um, yeah, that's about it, guys. So that was a quick tutorial on how to do that. Thanks for watching.